Hey, what what it do? Happy New Year to you, man. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Amir Sign coming at you live from Oakland, California. I'm in the building, baby, for the new year, man. We made it, man. We lost a lot of good people along the way, you know, over the years. This year, John Singleton. I mean, um, yeah, John Singleton, John Witherspoon, a bunch of the OGs. We lost them, you know, the transition. But, you know, we all going to take that journey one day, man, you know. So, um, peace and blessings to the folks that didn't make it, and peace and blessings to the folks that did make it. You know, we're going to make this year um, our best year. Hope you live your best life, you know. Yeah, man. So, going into um, 2020, like and subscribe to my page. I'm going to try to um, be a little bit more um, on top of my game when it comes to this internet thing. You know, I work hard and I play hard. Sometimes I ain't got time for it, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to try to give you a little bit of this um, Big C perspective. Coming from where I come from as a OG. Grew up in these Oakland streets, you know what I'm saying? Saying I'm seeing people come and seeing people go. Excuse me, I got a little um, cold right now. Um, I had the flu. Just coming down with it, they gave me a little pump thing. So, I pumped myself up. My lungs are feeling a little better. So, I'm going to go on to this video, man. On this video, I want to talk about um, Blue Ivy, Jay-Z's daughter. Um, beautiful little girl. Looked just like a mama and a daddy. And what's wrong with that? You know, you got a lot of Africans, black people, that's not secure with who they are, man. You know what I'm saying? You black. You got big lips and a big nose. And you got brown skin. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people growing up, man, people used to, people used to say, oh, you're African. You're an African booty scratcher. You know what I'm saying? Black ass people say it, that shit. And that just shows you that a lot of people are not, um, they're self conscious. You know? They don't, a lot of people don't like themselves. I guess growing up in this um, North American society, in this racist society, when um, in this world, they project the image of, um, of the European look with the long straight hair and uh, um, the European features, they try to promote that as you know the ep the the ep the the highest of beauty. But you know, it's beauty in every everywhere, man. You know, I seen some beautiful Italians. Beautiful Africans, beautiful South Africans, Nigerians, um, Kenyans, Ghanans, um, Mexican people, beautiful sisters, um, um, white people. You got some beautiful white ladies too. Um, we're not going to be, I don't, you know, a woman is beautiful. I always looked at the neck, her, her hair come up on the neck, or you know, or her ears, her fingers. There's just so much beautiful stuff about a woman, man. Her toes, um, her voice, um, the way she walk. There's so much beauty about a, a woman, man. My sisters, they need to be secure with who they are, man. You know, all this, um, all this fake stuff. You know, you got fake eyebrows, fake lashes, Fake, um, fake, uh, fake everything, fake ass, fake hair, you know. So, when this guy was talking about Blue Ivy, I just didn't, didn't understand what he was saying. Um, he's supposed to, I think he's a Harper Bazaar, um, writer or something like that. 
So I looked at the guy. You need to shut the fuck up. You know. Dude, you need to shut your ass up. Because, you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be like you him. You know, I I, I can't a man is to judge a woman I let the woman judge the men, you know what I'm saying? But this guy looks like a little ass, dirty ass boy, but he's a grown man. Look like his haircut ain't never been right. Look like he got cut in the 70s and it ain't never grew. It just stayed th that decade for the rest of his life. Um, bowling ball head motherfucker, you know? And you could tell he got a little femininity in him by him judging another man's appearance, you know? Um, and then you have the nerve to disrespect a little child, you know? says a lot about you, brother, you know? So, you know, people like that, we got to look past. You know, he don't look like he could have lasted in the situation and the experience that Jay-Z probably came out of. You know, it looked like he would have got molly whopped, hit in the head with a mop ringer or something like that, you know, knocked out, you know, popped, you know, talking about people, kids, where do they do that at, man? You know? And the girl, she's a beautiful, she's a beautiful little girl. You know? You don't like these lips? You don't like the nose? You don't like who you are, bro? Keep it to yourself. Because really, he probably up there showing out for the white folks that he work for. You know? And he, and he you know, what you don't know is you look like a fool putting down your own people in front of them other races, you know? And especially talking about a child. You need to get the shit slapped out you, for real, you know? But yeah, man, we want to um, boost up our kids' self-esteem. We want images like us um, put on TV and in the radio and movies, um, books. You know, we want to promote our, the beauty of, the, of our, ourselves because everybody try to look like us. You see these women, like I, I'm in San Francisco the other day, and it, this lady, she got the duck lips. They poked out bigger than mine, white lady. And I'm thinking that she's blowing somebody a kiss or something. But they permanently like that. So, you know, you look at the styles, the clothes, the music. We influence everything. They trying to be like us. And then you got some of us trying to be like them. You know? You know, some of us don't even like ourselves. You know? Be yourself, man. You know, sometimes you don't look right. Just like that ass look out of place, that hair look out of place, too. You know? You got Rapunzel going all the way down to your ass. Sometimes it ain't right. Then you got that, that sidewalk up the middle. You know, what is that? And then some of them, they got just a hat. You just put that hat on like it look like, look like this. You know? Come on, man. 2020, we got to do better than that, you know? You know, love yourself, love who you are. You are some great people. You come from some great stuff, a great struggle. A guy told me one time, um, I had to tell a dude one time, man, he's like, yeah, well, they had us in slave. If they let us out of slavery, I was like, they had to let us out of slavery. Because one of the, one of the um, strongest things that we did was shit, rebel, you know? And, and after so many um, animals dying and people getting poisoned and, and, and murder is <laughs> going on because you holding me in bondage, you got to let me go. So I had to tell the brother, man, we was a part of them letting us go. He didn't believe me, you know. He thought that it was just all in, in their hands. But you don't know that a lot of people sacrifice and went to bat and got a, and got us up out of that by their actions of revolution, you know? So, yeah, man. We got to love ourselves. It's all self-hate. 
that brother who talked about that baby, he didn't, he don't love himself. He wishes, he probably wishes he was his um, boss, a white guy, you know? Um, the the history of our history is misconstrued because they telling it. We need to tell our own history. And you look on um, some of these um, social media platforms and um, so, so social media um, sites, they would manipulate the history, man, you know? And you got to look at the authors who's telling the history. We have a beautiful history. We are beautiful people, man. I talked to my Nigerian brother. Uh, we talk about African spirituality. We got a long history of um, spirituality and worship of God through the way they do it. I guess he's an ancestor worship. But, you know, I'm a Muslim, you know, so I prescribe to the, um, to the dean, man, uh, the way, you know. It makes sense to me. And that's just me. You know, you all can do what you want to do, uh, be who you want to be. I don't knock nobody's stuff. Whatever road you take to try to get to where you're trying to go that's positive, I acknowledge and, and I'm, I'm with that. But, yeah, man, I just don't understand how this guy could disrespect his child like that. And... um you know, he need to be some consequences. He need to, uh, Jay-Z need to be able to slap the shit out of him um, as, as, as a punishment for that. <laughs> you know, because, man, who, who are you? Then you, you put my baby all up in it. What about her self-esteem? What about how she's going to feel um, going out into the public with that kind of, hopefully they got some positive reinforcement for her. I know they do. Um and, and, and hopefully she got some good confidence because she's a beautiful little girl and she shouldn't have to go through that. You know, you people are jealous of Jay-Z. Um, I know people would say he, he Illuminati. And man, that's just ridiculous. You niggas ain't used to a nigga having some hustle and getting some money, you know? And, and, and how much money do you got? You know, how, what have you done in life other than gossip? You know, so man, I need to fall off off that. It's great to see a uh, um, black family, you know, a successful black family. How could you down that? That is just tragically stupid, you know. And if we really investigate and went deep in who this guy is, he would be fucking exposed. For the clown that he is, you know, I just, you know, growing up from where I come from, I never understood I, that I can't even understand how a person could disparage a child like that. We're supposed to be building the children up, um, helping them with their confidence, supporting the children, not talking about them and trying to, um, make a joke out of their appearance because actually you know she, she, she probably looks better than anybody he ever been around from the looks of it so yeah man y'all stay positive um stay on some um stay on some um building in this 2020 you know Stop tearing each other down so much. That's all they do on this internet. It's, I'm, I'm going to go against them. But you, ain't none of you, you ain't doing nothing. Ain't nothing in black society got better with this internet shit. But um, being in people business and um, probably got better for the police because you're telling on yourself every day on this motherfucker. You know, especially um, these youngsters thinking they're thugs and gangsters. So 2020, man, keep it lit. Love who you are. This is Black Power right here, baby. You see this? He's dope and finest. And um, keep that baby name out your mouth. Somebody slap the teeth out your mouth, nigga. Fuck you. Peace.